Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, quite recently I was introduced to a lovely, lovely, lovely lady called Grace. Um, she owns a company called The Paper Moon Company and um, she creates these amazing gift cards, greetings cards. So I was introduced to her online. Um, we have brought out a gorgeous set of greetings cards using my fluid art as, as the base. So I just wanted to show you. Um, they are printed on this gorgeous card, which I don't know if you can see, there's, a, there's like a hammered finish to it. Um, really, really pretty cards. Um, and this is a, um, this fluid art was a, this was a, a ribbon pour that I did ages ago. Um, and she's used that to create these greetings cards. We've made, we've designed, or she's designed three of them. Um, so one of them says, thinking of you. One of them says, big hugs. And one of them says, sending love. So if you're interested in buying any of these, we're uh, selling them on Etsy. I'll put the link in the uh, in the description of this video. Check them out. We're selling them for three pounds a card, um, or you could have all three, a set of three for eight pound fifty. Um, she we're based. She's based in the UK, but we um, she is also shipping out um, internationally. Um, so um, UK delivery is free. There would be a charge for international delivery. Uh, but check out her Etsy, the Paper Moon Company. She's called. Um, so she Grace also um, designed my gorgeous new logo I don't know if you've seen at the beginning of all my videos I now put rainbow acrylics logo she designed that for me so to return the favor I'm going to do a painting for her so I've asked her what her color what favorite colors are so pinks oranges and corals and I'm going to do either a ring pour or a straight pour for her um, to, based, based on her colour scheme. So I'm really excited. So um, this is for you, Grace. Um, let me show you the colours I've mixed. So here are my colours. This colour here and this colour here, I've mixed myself and they're coral colours. So I've mixed them with red, orange, yellow and white. It looks very, very orange on the video, but it's actually a bit pinkier than it looks. And then a paler version of it. Um, iridescent orange. This is a, um, a cadmium orange with some um, crimson added to make it just a bit deeper for contrast. I've got white, I've got pearl white, I've got a magenta and I've got two Amsterdam pinks here. I'm going to list all the names of these paints in the description just to make it easier. To show you the consistency, it's quite thick deliberately. Um, I've mixed it with my PVA and water pouring medium, which is mixed two parts PVA glue to one part water. Then I've mixed the paint and the pouring medium 50-50. I've had to add a little bit more water to some of them just to thin them down to, to get them all to about the same consistency. But you can see they just leave, they leave a mound on a mound and they just create a little trace and, and that lasts, that trace is there for just a couple of minutes, oh, sorry, a couple of seconds and then it just sinks and it disappears. Um, so all very similar colours. She's not wanting a huge amount of contrast. Um, so um, I'm really excited just to try something totally different. Um, so let's get started. The canvas I'm gonna be using is a 40 by 40 centimetre square canvas. So I'm going to fill a half pint cup. Um, I think that will be enough um, paint. I've put my paints in a, in a rough order. I'm alternating dark and lights. I've got the three pinks together, the two oranges together, and then the two coral colors together, because I think that will, I think, I think that will work best instead of mixing it up completely. So I'm gonna start, which end should I start? Um, so whatever I start with is what's gonna come out last, which will be on top. I think I'm gonna start with the coral. I've got a lot of paint here. I've got too much paint here. That's fine. Um, I will, I'll have some leftovers to do something else with. So to layer up my cup, I'm just gonna pour a nice layer on the bottom, first of all. I'm hoping to do maybe two or three layers of each color. So that's the lighter coral, and then we've got the darker coral and this time I'm just pouring it down the side of the cup. And I'm doing that just so that it doesn't mix too much. Now this dark orange is really quite dark so I don't want too much of it. 
Now this is the Pebio Iridescent Orange, absolutely beautiful. Right, two layers of each colour. Wow, it's looking gorgeous. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is put down a puddle of white in the middle. I've just thinned this white down so it's really quite nice and runny now. I'm just going to move that around. This will just help the paint to flow over the canvas nicely. Right, I think I'm going to do a straight pour. So I'm going to pour into the centre. What I will do is move the paint, the cup, up and down and I'm going to twist it round from side to side as well because that will just give some different effects. So here goes. Wow, oh my goodness, I couldn't be happier with that. That is amazing. Look at those colours. Oh wow, I'm absolutely over the moon so far. I'm going to put some flow extender down here because otherwise it's just going to roll over itself. In fact, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to cover the canvas in some thinned out paint, just some thin flow extender now. Right, I'm going to give it a good torch because I can see a lot of air bubbles in there. Right, now the fun bit, let's tilt this out. Oh, I'm excited but nervous. I think what I'll do to start with is just go round in a circle. So the tilting is literally, I'm just literally stretching it. And 
that flow extender just means that the paint has got something to push against and slide over because without that the design the colours will just roll over each other and then I'll just lose lots of the lovely colours and the lovely design Right, I'm going to start going over now, I think. Um, yeah, might as well just go over this corner. Just going to give it another torch. Now I quite like some of these white cells here so I think what I will do next is actually tilt off this edge so it will the paint will get stuck on the corner and then come back so I'm hoping I can try and save some of those white cells I'm not sure they might go over but I can I can try Yep, yeah, managed to do that. Wow, it's so pretty. These colours are lovely. This isn't a colour scheme I would normally go for because I would normally go for very um, contrasting colours. So there is quite a lot of contrast between the white and the pink, but obviously all the pinks and the oranges are pretty similar colours, but it just looks beautiful. Wow, I love this. This is gorgeous. Right, my only question mark is actually this corner here. This has got this is this corner with the white cells. Does it look out of place because there's only one corner with white cells? I think it does a bit. So I think I'm going to just try and tip a little bit more of that off in that corner. So I'm just going to find the centre of the weight of the paint. It's quite near the centre. And then it's just tipped down just exactly towards that corner.
yeah, I'm happy with that. Composition wise, that just really works. Wow, I am so happy. It's so pretty. Right, let me get you in for a close up to show you. Just look at the colours. They are gorgeous. Wow, just so pretty. And I just can't believe there's no there's no blue or turquoise or anything that really contrasts, but it works so well. This is why I love commissions and colour schemes from other people, because it puts me out of my comfort zone. It makes me use colours I wouldn't normally use and to see the different results. And I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so these beautiful, massive white sails, they just they look a bit like pebbles to me on a bit of a chalky beach. Some beautiful lines, some beautiful layers. Let me take you in to show you the centre. That's the very centre of the cup that was poured out there. And I can see the orange sparkling away. So when that's dry, that's going to look really nice, really pretty. So, yeah, really, really happy. I'll be back when it's dry. I absolutely love this painting. The colours are, are just amazing. I'm definitely going to use this colour combination again. Um, my favourite part of the whole painting is this section here, these huge white cells. But if you look really closely you can see that they're stripy as well. So you can see all of the other colours underneath um, shining through. Um, I don't know if you, yo, you can. Can you see the, how iridescent the orange is there? So just scattered throughout the painting, you've got this wonderful shine from the iridescent orange paint. It's so pretty. I just love the way the colours all blend and merge and mix but also remain quite separate. You've got these definite bands and lines of colour, but then they mix as well. I'm really pleased. Again, that's the centre. And then you've got these wonderful white lines just almost sort of wrapping around. It almost looks like a bit of a, maybe a rock pool or, I don't know. Let me know what, what do you think it looks like. It's definitely got some depth there in the centre. To me, it looks like it goes inwards. Um, what do you think? What does this remind you of? Do let me know. Great, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the painting, just hit the thumbs up button, let me know. Um, that would be amazing. Um, and leave me any comments. Great, take care everybody. Bye.